Chapter 10 of The Adventures of Grandfather Frog. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Lars Rolander. The Adventures of Grandfather Frog by Thornton W. Burgess. Chapter 10 Grandfather Frog Starts Out to See the Great World. Grandfather Frog looked very solemn as he sat on his big green lily pad in the smiling pool. He looked very much as if he had something on his mind. A foolish green fly actually brushed Grandfather Frog's nose, and he didn't even notice it. The fact is, he did have something on his mind. It had been there ever since his cousin old Mr. Toad had called the day before, and they had quarreled as usual over the question whether it was best never to leave home or to go out into the great world right in the midst of their quarrel along had come farmer brown's boy now grandfather frog is afraid of farmer brown's boy so when he appeared grandfather frog stopped arguing with old mr toad and with a great splash dived into the smiling pool and hid under a lily pad there he stayed and watched his cousin, old Mr. Toad, grinning in the most provoking way, for he wasn't afraid of Farmer Brown's boy. In fact, he had boasted that they were friends. Grandfather Frog had thought that this was just an idle boast, but when he saw Farmer Brown's boy tickle old Mr. Toad under his chin with a straw, while Mr. Toad sat perfectly still and seemed to enjoy it, he knew that it was true. Grandfather Frog had not come out of his hiding place until after old Mr. Toad had gone back across the green meadows and Farmer Brown's boy had gone home for his supper. Then Grandfather Frog had climbed back on his big green lily pad and had sat there half the night without once leading the chorus of the smiling pool with his great deep bass voice as he usually did he was thinking thinking very hard and now this bright sunshiny morning he was still thinking the fact is grandfather frog was beginning to wonder if perhaps after all mr toad was right if the great world had taught him how to make friends with farmer brown's boy there really must be some things worth learning there not for the world would grandfather frog have admitted to old mr toad or to anyone else that there was anything for him to learn for you know he is very old and by his friends is accounted very wise but right down in his heart he was beginning to think that perhaps there were some things which he couldn't learn in the smiling pool so he sat and thought and thought suddenly he made up his mind sugarum said he i'll do it do what asked jerry muskrat who happened to be swimming past i'll go out and see for myself what this great world my cousin old mr toad is so fond of talking about is like replied grandfather frog don't you do it advised jerry muskrat don't you do anything so foolish as that you're too old much too old grandfather frog to go out into the great world now few old people like to be told that they are too old to do what they please and grandfather frog is no different from others you just mind your own affairs jerry muskrat he retorted sharply i guess i know what is best for me without being told if my cousin old mr toad can take care of himself out in the great world i can he isn't half so spry as i am i'm going and that is all there is about it with that grandfather frog dived into the smiling pool swam across to a place where the bank was low and without once looking back started across the green meadows to see the great world End of chapter 10 Read by Lars Rolander